Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is results from a single locus probe DNA fingerprint analysis for a man and a woman and the four children are shown in the autoradiograph to the right which child is least likely to be a biological offspring of this couple and here is um, uh, five answers to choose from and here is a radiograph as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. About 30 years ago, uh, paternity test was not uh, as uh, exact as today. Basically, it only can confirm that you are not a father, but not uh, that you are a father of the child by exclusion. For example, in ABO blood group system, if you belong to the blood group O, that means that your genotype is OO, and if uh, mother of the child is also belong to this blood group and child blood group A, this would exclude you as a father, because um, it is impossible for both parents who belong to the blood group O to have a child who is blood group A. So father have to be uh, with the AA or AO blood group. So nowadays it's much easier. We can uh, now say for sure if the person is a biological father of the child or not. And nowadays we're using uh, CODIS system. This uh, system were uh, invented by FBA uh, in order to convince uh, people, suspect people who left evidence at the crime scene that uh, they commit that crime. And uh, in this system, uh, special sites were chosen on the certain uh, chromosomes and uh, in these sites uh, people have a variable number of tandem repeats. For example, if we consider this side we may find uh, uh, such tendon repeat that uh, can be read as uh, a t t a for example and this may repeat many times for example once again a t t a and a t t a so as you see uh, it is repeated three times and we call such sequence as core sequence that would be repeated and uh, for example you may have three repeats here I may have uh, five repeats here so uh, such sites we are choosing that has at least uh, between five and ten different alleles that naturally occur in uh, population as you see on this picture uh, we have 22 autosomes and two sex chromosomes. So uh, basically in each our cell we have double of this number because we got half of our chromosomes from our mother side and another half from our father side. So total number of chromosomes would be 46. That means that each chromosome in our genome in each our cell present in two copies, one from the mother side, another from the father side. And that means that, for example, for chromosome number two, we may have not only one variant of the repeat, but two variants of the repeat. Because uh, on the chromosomes that you got from the father side, you may have, uh, for example, four repeats here, and uh, from the mother side, you may have three repeats here. And of course, this. Um, variable number of tandem repeats, these uh, fragments are flanked by uh, other uh, segments of the DNA that has the same sequence in each person, for example T, C, C, T, A and uh, on this side we may have another sequence, so we can construct uh, primers and can uh, replicate uh, this fragment be between these two uh, flanking um, sequences and uh, 
using PCR. We can uh, make millions of copies of this fragment. And then when we run a gel, uh, of course, uh, fragments of different size would separate. In our example, as you see, uh, there is two alleles for each person. But uh, actually in the CODI system, we recognize certain different uh, sites, so we can have total number of 26 uh, alleles. Uh, all of them can be different, or for some of the sites, uh, number of repeats can be the same, because uh, there can be the same number of repeats on the uh, homologous chromosomes from mother site and from father site. In this case, we would see only one band. But if there would be different number of repeats, we would see two bands. And there is also uh, two uh, alleles that is not shown here, uh, that designate between female and male. In female, we would see only one band here, because uh, females has two X chromosomes. But in males, we would see two bands, because one band would be from the... X chromosome and another from the Y chromosome. And this uh, site or locus is taken from one of the introns of the protein that we call amylogenin. And uh, in one of the introns, females has a, a sequence that is uh, different from the same analogous uh, homologous uh, sequence in males. So in males the sequence or this particular intron uh, a little bit shorter. So when we run a gel and if uh, X and Y chromosome present uh, that means that we would have two bands. And if two X chromosomes present we would have uh, only one band. Why it is not shown here? Because uh, the site uh, we don't call variable number of tandem repeats, because uh, this is just a sequence that is uh, a little bit shorter on the Y chromosome than in X chromosome, but uh, it is not repetitive sequence. Now in order to make things uh, easier, let's take a look at only one chromosome. Imagine that this chromosome number two, as you remember, not all the chromosomes are included in the CODIS system, only certain chromosomes. So imagine that this is a set of homologous chromosomes from the mother side, and this is a set of uh, homologous chromosome number two from the father side. And here is the locus on the chromosomes from the mother side, and the same locus on the chromosome number two, two copies of this um, chromosome from the father side. And now imagine that uh, on the mother side we have uh, in this locus uh, three repeats on one chromosome and uh, four repeats on the other chromosome because uh, one we are receiving from the mother side, another from the father side. So. Uh, it's very possible that here we can find a different number of tandem repeats. And now imagine that, uh, for example, on the father side we have five repeats here and six repeats here. Uh, of course, uh, this can be uh, the same repeat in all four chromosomes, but uh, I'm on purpose use all the different number of repeats. So you would see all the variants that is possible here. So as you see, here we start with deployed female and deployed male. And both female and male would produce haploid gametes. So only this chromosome or this chromosome can be found in the gamete on the female side and whether only this chromosome or this chromosome but not together can be found in the gametes from the uh, male side. And uh, this gives us four different combinations. First variant would be this chromosome from the female side and this chromosome from the male side. 
So our combination of repeats would be 3 and 5 that we can ch uh, find in the child. Another variant would be if we combine this chromosome from the mother side and this chromosome from the father side. So another combination that can be found in the child can be 3 from the mother side and 6 from the father side. Yet another combination can be this chromosome from the mother side and this chromosome from the father side. So combinations in the child can be found 4 and 5. And the last variant would be combination of this chromosome from the mother side and this chromosome from the father side. And combination would be 4 and 6. So as you see, combinations of the gametes would produce a diploid organism. And in each diploid organism we may find such combinations. As you see, in which combination one of the alleles come from the mother side, another from the father side. Now we can easily solve our problem. So if you would take a look here, first of all, we would be interested in the bands of the mother and of the father. So uh, let me use uh, different colors. So this would be of the mother, one band, here is another band of the mother, and uh, here is the two bands of the father. So one band here and one band here. So let's take a look at the first child. The first child has a combination of uh, one of the mother's allele and one of the father's allele. So what does this uh, tell us? This tells us that this child has um, a variable number of tandem repeats that is different. Those uh, um, fragments that is bigger would travel smaller distance and those fragments that is smaller would travel uh, longer distance. So uh, if we load our DNA here this is going to be negative uh, charge here and positive charge here because uh, DNA has slightly negative charge and when we apply current uh, DNA would travel in the direction of the positive charge. So let's now compare uh, let's say child 6. So child 6 also has uh, one of the alleles. So let me use the color here once again. So one allele as you see from the mother side, another allele from the father side here. Now if we compare child 6 we have one of the alleles from the mother side as you see and another allele from the father side. Let's compare child 5. We see one of the alleles from the father side, another allele from the mother side and uh, child two left what we see here one of the alleles from the mother side and another allele also the same as in mother but this is impossible because uh, child is combination of alleles of uh, father and mother so one of the alleles have to be from the mother side another have to be uh, from the father side. Otherwise child would be a clone of uh, its mother. It is not possible. We are not plants. We do not uh, propagate by cloning. So half of the alleles have to be from the father side and half from the mother side but not uh, like two alleles from the mother side or two alleles from the father side. So as you see the correct answer would be answer B. So this child would be least likely to be biological uh, child of this couple. Why uh, we are using here least likely and not uh, something more 
define it like uh, this is not a child of this couple because one uh, side, one locus is not enough in order to give uh, exact answer because some people can be chimeric so in one part of their body they may have one genotype in another parts in other tissues may have different genotype how this may happen this can be a result of mutation uh, during early stages of the development of the fetus and uh, another variant would be uh, when a woman is pregnant with two children one uh, may uh, die and another one can incorporate uh, some of his cells so this child would be chimeric, so may have a genotype of both children. But such situation, of course, is extremely rare. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.